Hello El Capitan, welcome back to my channel. This is your next 48. This is episode August 1 and 2 for El Capitan, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node. If you have questions about getting personal readings, check the description box. I'll tell you this now, it's a lot cheaper to become a member of Patreon so that you get a 30-minute reading as, as opposed to an 8-minute reading for $45. It just makes more sense. Uh, to join patreon and you will get that reading every month being a member so a 30 minute reading every month is not bad just saying all right so let's see el capitan sun moon rising and the north node el capitan what are the messages for my el capi the captain sun moon rising and the north node what are the messages please and thank you Okay, we have the Princess of Wands. Okay, so something online, the Prince of the uh, Page of Wands to me is a post. It's some good news coming in. It could be an email, but it's something that's heartfelt, something that's warm, something that that's like you, you had that has you saying like, ooh la la. Okay, so I'm getting something that you're hearing. Yeah, I'm getting you're really pay paying close attention to someone or to something. This could be your work, of course. The Prince, the Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles is putting your money where your mouth is. Okay, you could be paying a membership or joining something okay i'm getting it's a very small payment nothing too major but i'm getting maybe you're joining a gym or you're joining a group or you're joining a membership or something all right but i'm getting or you could be starting something here i'm getting a small donation yeah eight of wands okay so it's taking off pretty quickly i'm getting all of a sudden somebody is taking a lot of interest in your work or what you're doing or you're taking a lot of interest in somebody else's work Okay, I'm getting a lot of communication or a lot of members, but I'm getting a lot of, you know, something is taking off very quickly at that about what you're doing with your hands. I'm getting a lot of new clientele, emails coming through, orders. So things are looking good for work. We, okay, there you are, El Capitan. Look at you. All right, I just wish they would make the devil like more attractive, but I'm, I'm getting the devil is the god of temptation, pan. Okay, so here you are, El Capitan, sitting here, all right, in all your glory. Yeah, we have the tower. Wow. Okay, we have the six of pentacles. Yeah, a lot of donations coming in, a lot of money coming in. I'm getting payments. People are patronizing you. Like, all of a sudden, I'm getting right off the bat, like, eight people patronizing you. A lot of small payments adding up to hundreds of dollars or maybe thousands. So, that, so business looks really good for you. I'm getting business is booming, literally, like, out of nowhere. Okay, what's the tower card? What is the tower card? I'm getting I'm getting something because it becomes an addiction almost immediately. So maybe you try something new and almost immediately afterwards it's like, oh my God, I need to have more of that. So hopefully it's not like, because with the devil card and this card coming out, I'm getting it could be like pills or drugs or like somebody is asking you to try something and immediately after you try it, it's like, wow, what is this? What'd you give me? Okay, so what is the tower? Yeah, we have the full card. Yeah, that's what I was getting, doing something brand new. I really hope you're not, I mean, it's up to you. I'm not judging you, but I'm getting like somebody is taking a huge leap of faith, a huge risk here, okay? Because I'm getting like somebody is on drugs or somebody is seeing things. Somebody could be having hallucinations and like somebody just goes ape shit. I don't know where this is coming from, but all of a sudden somebody just does something weird or crazy or very out of character. Okay, what's the eight of wands? What is the eight of wands or something that you just were not, you weren't expecting this at all. Okay. What is the eight of wands, please? What is the eight of wands? When I'm getting whatever you did, whatever risk that you took or whatever risk that you're taking, it's paying off six of pentacles. All right. People are very supportive of whatever you're doing. Yeah. We have the judgment card and we have the king of pentacles. Yeah. It's like, it's like all of a sudden somebody's coming back to work or all of a sudden you're back at work. All of a sudden you're working another job. Okay, all of a sudden you have another stream of income. All of a sudden you're a boss. Like all of a sudden you're like doing this thing like boom, I'm on the scene. I'm here. Bam. Cuz here you are showing up twice. I'm getting it's about money. Okay, but I'm getting like if you are the pound man or if you if you sell drugs, I'm getting like you just gained a new like a gain like some a new flunky or roofie cuz I'm getting like somebody really likes the shit that you're selling. Somebody likes your stuff. All right, whatever you are selling, somebody likes it. I'm getting somebody's addicted to whatever your whatever your merchandise here is. Like whatever the product is, the product is like speaking for itself. All right, because I'm getting it's very lucrative, very, like immediately. What, what is the devil card? But I'm getting it, it comes with like some type of addiction or like codependency. People are like really depending on you. Okay, what is the devil card here? 
So you may have got you may have gotten yourself in a little bit of trouble here, but I'm getting it's a good problem to have. I'm getting it's with money or other people's money. Okay, what's the devil, please? Yeah, we have the nine of wands. Yeah, so it's almost like somebody is addicted to something or maybe you are. You have an addictive personality and it's almost like you have to fight with yourself to stop doing something. But it's like you get these weird, crazy ass cravings. Nine of wands. Yeah, we have the queen of swords. All right, so I'm getting, I'm getting this addiction is more so about speaking communication because I'm getting like somebody here is a very experienced speaker, orator, lecturer, teacher. It's almost like an, it's an addiction for you to speak or to, for you to converse. Somebody's, uh, somebody's highly intellectual intellectual or sapiosexual yeah with the devil card queen of swords somebody has like incredible wordplay this could be an artist like maybe you hear somebody's track for the first time and you're like wow you are like amazing like that's you that's all you all right what's the full card please yeah i'm getting somebody takes a chance on you or somebody gives you a chance yeah we have the ten of cups yeah i'm getting whatever risk you're taking do that shit i'm getting people are very supportive you could have been apprehensive about this but i'm getting people have no qualms with giving you a second chance or it's like you it's like you you've done something over and over again like this could be the eighth time doing it but keep doing that shit keep at it keep at it so this could be a song that you wrote or that you're finally re you're finally releasing an album or a song. Yeah, we have the seven cups flying out. I'm not really sure where it goes, but something may be confusing you or you have a, I'm, like, I'm getting all of a sudden you have all these options. Yeah, we have the four of swords. Yeah, you have a, all of a sudden you have a lot to think about. You have a lot to think about, a lot to do. You need to gather your thoughts or put your thoughts in order. Okay, what's the prince? Uh, I'm getting, I'm getting all of a sudden all these jobs are calling you. You have all these opportunities. Okay, what's the Princess of Pentacles, please? The Princess of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Nine of Swords. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm getting you, you're kind of overwhelmed. You kind of, maybe you overbooked yourself or that's what I'm getting. You got yourself into a little bit of trouble here, maybe at work. Nine of Swords, yeah, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting you're going to be fine, though. You're going to be fine. I'm getting you may, I'm getting you may have overbooked yourself or you took on a little bit too, too much. You took on a little bit more than what you can handle. Maybe too many hours, too many clients. But I'm getting, once you get everything settled and situated and you write everything down and you list everything, you're going to be fine. I'm getting you can completely handle this. I'm kind of getting you like to work under pressure as well. Yeah, we have the hermit card. Yeah, so you're very studious, very learned. I'm getting you're going to think of something brilliant to, to kind of put some order to this chaos. Okay, what's the, what's the nine of swords? I'm getting you're going to be just fine though. Whatever this is. I'm getting whatever problem, whatever problem you have, it's about money or it's about your career. But I'm getting this nine of swords is just regular old stress. It comes with a day's work, having a, a lot to do, a lot on your plate. Okay. Yeah, the two of pentacles. It's all about self-management, time management. Okay, just getting your shit in order. Basically, what you you know how to do very swell. All right, you're you'll be fine, Cappy. I'm getting you just have a lot on your plate. Um, and the first eight days of August is really gonna take off. Okay, six of pentacles. Because I'm getting you're trying to earn money. You're doing it because you're trying to earn money, extra income, supplement your income or something of that nature. Yeah, but we have the sun card. You're going to be just fine. I'm getting you already know that. You know you're going to be fine. Okay, somebody could be worried about you moving on, doing better or moving up. But that's that's their problem, not yours. But the high priestess tells me that you're going to be fine and you know you're going to be fine. You knew that you were taking a risk and you knew that... You knew what the risk entailed. You knew it would be a, a huge workload for you, but you're like, you know what? I got this shit. I can do this. Okay, I'm getting it actually makes you happy to work this way. You you like to achieve goals. You like you like to have a large workload is what I'm seeing. Let's get some love cards. Even though I'm not seeing too much love here, we have children. Yeah, so um, this could be involving your kids. Maybe you're working extra hard because you want to give your kids something more. I'm also getting too, it is, it is important that you take some time out to play and rest. Don't take things too seriously because I'm getting, it can turn into an addiction very quickly. Yeah, we have healing family issues. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting you're dealing with a family member that has an addiction. And I'm getting, you, you may have to cut them off or cut off their supply. Yeah, we have calling your soulmate and we have soulmate. Wow. So it looks like you calling your soulmate and your soulmate actually shows up. Yeah, somebody is like, somebody takes the risk on calling you or somebody is like you're calling somebody in and they actually show up. You weren't expecting them to, but something actually materializes. They actually call you or they actually text you or they actually respond back. They actually show up. All right, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.